Hey, before we start the show, we wanted to let you know that the official Dignation DVD two-disc set is now available for sale. It's got the best moments from over 200 episodes, behind-the-scenes footage, and a bunch more in almost four hours of content. You can buy yours now at revision3.com slash store. This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by the new voice-activated Ford Sync featuring hands-free calling, music search, and turn-by-turn -turn navigation. GoDaddy, Netflix, and Raid Ladybug and Butterfly Spray. Kills them in just seconds. <laughs> Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I know this is so in Southern California and I have fruit. You put zombie and you put ear in the title and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Hello, friends. Welcome to Dignation, episode number 232. I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albrecht. Dignation covers some of the hottest users submitted. Really? Glenn, I wasn't on camera that whole time? You were in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's always it's always interesting show start when Glenn's like, I should move the camera over. Should we start over? No. Okay. Dignation is covers the hottest stories on the social news website, dig.com. It's double D-W-G-G.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm a little punchy. My flight was late. He's a little upset. Fucking pissed. Well, you're still gonna get back at the same time, so you should be okay. Maybe, we'll see. All right. Depends upon how much you drink. Mm. Drink, drink, drink. Speaking yeah, of drink. Yeah, we got a couple beers. Yes, I got Spatun Premium. And I have uh, Pyramid Haywire, which is a Hefeweizen unfiltered. And this came as part how of a holiday pack, which is 12 assorted beers. They're seasonal. They're not the winter variety. Yeah, they're not sponsoring, but uh, how how is it? Yeah, I've all, I always like Hefeweizen from Pyramid. See, I'm not a Hefeweizen guy. Mm. I've just never been able to get L into Hefeweizen. Little slices of orange. It's like a little slice of heaven, really. Yeah. You know what I started getting into, and you're gonna make fun of me, and that's fine. Bud Light Lime. Ah. Oh. It tastes so chemically and good, dude. That's, you know what I really like. I'm I'm just gonna throw this out there. Bud Light Lime. I think most light beers suck at uh, suck major ass. Like Bud Light yeah. is. Horrible. I love Bud Light. Have they sponsored in the past? Probably. Uh, no, just uh, just their parent company. Well, I'm I'm sorry. I, you know, Coors. Love, Coors is great. Coors, Coors Light's fucking good, good, dude. Yeah. It's good beer. I like know. you drink it, and you're like, I feel like I'm drinking a beer. The problem I have with light beers is when you drink them, you're like, this is like water. Like it's not that I need like the alcohol, but well, I want to feel want like it. I'm drinking a fucking beer. You know? Right. Yeah. All right. Now that we've settled that. You know uh, what does that for me? Spaten Premium. <laughs> Spaten. Spaten Premium. It's good beer. Yeah, I like me some Spaten. What are you guys drinking? Uh, Hippie Glenn's got the IPA, which he's a. Uh, the IPA is like the he IPA. Call it. What's that called? Thundernut? It's not my. Thunderhead. Thundersack. Thundersack. IPAs, but it's. Okay. IPAs are too bittery yes. and. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm not a bitter beer man. Bitter. Do you remember that I'm campaign, not a bitter, bitter, man bitter beer face? Oh, dude. What? I fucking took one of these tablets that makes things not bitter. Did I tell you about this? I've got a couple in the other room. We can drop them oh, right now. Oh, the fake thing that like turns your senses off. Okay, so here's the deal. There's this yeah. fruit in like South America. Yes. They only grow it out there. <clears throat> yeah. And if you chew it up and put it on your tongue, it takes every single thing that tastes bitter makes it taste sweet as hell. Yeah. So I chewed one up and let it dissolve in my tongue. Like they have these things, they call them flavor parties. They throw them, it's not illegal drugs or anything. It's like all totally illegal, except you start tripping and saying crazy shit. Just kidding. Uh, but then you, you chew this up and put it on your tongue and then you take a sip of the IPA and it tastes like candy water, dude. It's unbelievable. Really? Yes. Do you want to try how many? Uh, how many taste buds? Let me die? give one to Glenn. You probably lose about half your taste buds for the rest of your yeah, life. Okay, but that's not bad. Let me give Glenn's one to ready. Glenn. A Do it. Do it. Um, give one to Glenn and let's see what his IPA tastes like. I'm excited. Oh yes, right. Uh, Show him the box. So where are the cocks? No, the box. Show him the cocks. So also Samovar tea. We're doing a Dignation holiday tea kit uh, through through our friends at Samovar. Um, there's a Dignation set, a Kevin set, and an Alex Duke of Earl set. Uh, are these, which, which are these? So this is the set, oh wow, okay. Interesting. So this is what the sets look like, right? And uh, so the sets themselves don't have any like Dignation stuff on them? I don't think, if you go to uh, uh, Revision? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, this is just a placeholder. This is a prototype uh, at the but, time. 
you know but anyway, what? I uh, find and them. hippie gloves. So they each have three teas uh, and a filter basket uh, uh, to brew from anywhere. So find them all at uh, revision3.com/tea. Use the coupon Dig Samovar for ten percent off. Everything you order. So. I will say real quick on this tea set, I, I did yeah. want to mention this. It does come exactly like this, so it's like a good gift for the holidays. Yeah, perfect. Like I want to get my mom and dad one, and uh, yeah, ours will say Dignation here, which is awesome. Good, good, good. These are high quality teas. This is some, yeah. some good shit. I'm excited. So. Not as excited, not as excited as I am for Glenn to eat this weird thing. No, right I now? couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. Now he just has this piece What? Of paper. <laughs> Lame. I know. I think that I threw is the them out. worst. That might be the lamest thing that's ever happened on our show. I know, dude. I don't know. I'm what so I do excited. That's like you. Forget the paper. Paper is nothing. Well, it's just a piece of paper that says. Uh, the food. card holder uh, bought an art in our store. <laughs> With this, this is how we got. Uh, oh no! Is, I remember you guys got spam. They finally scam. sent the paperwork to me, like, and disputed the fact that we got scammed. This is a long story. What? Glenn and I got scammed in China. I disputed the scam, and the scammers came back and were like, "Actually, no, we didn't scam you." The scammers wrote that back, and then they translated it for me. So they wrote it all back in Chinese. And <laughs> Translate it and send well, it. Well, what did they say? Because here's the thing you bought the painting, right? Right, but it was fake paintings. They weren't real authentic paintings. They were like mass produced fake. They said they were made by these local students and they weren't. They were lying. Oh, that is false. So right. Then what happened with the card? Dude, they, they reversed the charges and they charged me anyway. No. Way. Yep. Wells Fargo people, fuckers. Right. No, it's Chinese scammers that are fuckers. Yeah. You know what I it know. is? You just got double scammed. I did. Double scam. I'm gonna frame that shit. <laughs> you should. That's your piece of art. Is getting double scam. Seriously. Anyway, let's get into the show, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. First story of the day. Very interesting story. One I really want to talk about, but can't find. Here it is. Uh, 2,579 people dug this story. Submitted by Amp Rather. The paintless Coca-Cola. I heard about this. Would save Earth one can at a time. <sighs> Excuse me. It doesn't only look beautiful, and it would make John Ive and Steve Jobs wet. <laughs> but this, Just keep reading. But this naked Coca-Cola uh, <laughs> can would help save energy while reducing <laughs> air. And this naked Coca-Cola. <laughs> the fuck is that word? Can. <laughs> <laughs> Would it really make a difference? Let's do the math. So here's the, let me just uh, uh, set this up for you. Set it up. Essentially what they're saying is that it takes a lot looking. of energy and time to, and, and, and just paint and all the other bad crap to actually paint the outsides of these aluminum cans. Okay. So they're saying if they made like a pressed Coca-Cola can, kind of like, uh, I mean, you can see it here. It looks beautiful. Yeah, it looks uh, good. I, I drink more Coke. They would be saving energy and uh, while reducing air and water pollution. Mm. So they said, let's do uh, some math. So okay. assume the consumption only increases through time, but let's okay. take the da daily 2007 numbers of global uh, cases uh, of sold database. Okay. The total <laughs> Listen, the total number of Coca-Cola... If they only saw what that sentence actually said. <laughs> I've been drinking. The total number of Coca-Cola cans sold per <laughs> worldwide is 67,873,309 cans sold in 2007. So 67 Let's million cans of Coke. Let's just call it 68 million Cokes. Right. Diet Coke and Coke Zero sold 35.3 million, while My Coke sold My Coke? What 103 million. How is My Coke way more sales, oh. and I've never heard of it? Wait, that's all per day. That's per day. Holy shit, that's a lot of Coke consumed. Good God, those people are rich. I'm seriously. Dude, I mean, even if they make a penny, they make a hundred and, well, they actually make $200 million a day. So here's what they're saying. That's not true, math. Math is hard. Uh, Coca-Cola daily sales figures, that means there are 24 billion Cokes sold every year. 24 billion cans, okay. All right, So that's a lot of paint. That's indeed a lot of paint and, pa and paint removal products. Uh, okay, here's the deal. Um, Sounds good. Looks even better. They didn't even do any calculations. No, they just said, well, we assume that it's going to be better for the environment if we don't paint 27 billion cans. That's stupid. I, I know. was hoping there was going to be a really some good sort of like some kind of in. algorithm here that would like link all this together. It was like so, the paint cans are 1.4 yeah, yeah, decaliters times of whatever blah, blah, blah. times that, that means we save two children in Africa. Right. So all, that's how math works. Well, here's here's the problem though. We all took calculus. They're not going to sell more cokes like this. They're not going to sell. They'll sell less cokes. You think they'd sell less? Oh, cokes? Oh, absolutely. You're what are we fucking badgers? Like we go into the store and it's like, well, that can's not red. 
Yeah. I'm yeah. not drinking that Without shit. Without a doubt. You Where's are, that bright blue can? There has to be things that jump out at you to pull you in. You, if you I just agree. see a plain old can, you're going to be like, oh, that's some Jane Cola that I don't even know about, right? Well, they didn't say they were going to stop painting the boxes that hold the Cokes, right? Cokes. <laughs> the Cokes. <laughs> right? Right? They didn't say they're not going to stop painting the boxes. That's did true. They? That's true. The thing about this, though, is I, like I, people. When I get bread junk, I get British. This is really easy. Just don't drink Coke. Oh, that's not easy. I love Coke. It took Coke me, Zero and I are friends for it, life. It took me three months to to get the cravings to go away. When I stopped, when I first stopped drinking Coke. For Coke? Yeah. How many years ago? Ten. Uh, yeah. This will be my tenth year without drinking soda. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. I just don't want to not drink soda. Oh, you Does fill that it make in sense? with? No, no, no. Trust me, you fill it in with other things. I drink a lot of beer. Uh, I, I've basically made up for it in other beverages. Yes, well, you've become addicted to tea. Right, I drink a lot of tea. Uh, yeah. but I still find ways to get caffeine. Dude, did I tell you, by the way, you know chai tea? I know chai tea. Heather Hi. is addicted. To which, the samovar stuff? To chai tea. Uh, just any chai tea. Like oh. She'll get the powder from, from Trader Joe's and use it. Dude. It's amazing. She'll go to Starbucks and get chai tea. Now I've started drinking chai tea. It's horrible. There's Dude, a chai tea epidemic listen, going in our household. No, 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 yeah, yeah. No, the powder's good. No, 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 no. No, the powder tastes good. No, take, <laughs> I'm going to give you a can of the samovar stuff. Oh, Jesus. No, listen, I can't listen, take that home. listen, listen, take it home. Okay. And you put it in a, a freaking little skillet and you pour milk in there and you let it, um, you boil it for like a half hour in the skillet and then you drain it through the skillet and dude, Wait, the, drain it through the skillet. What does that mean? <laughs> you drain it through <laughs> the skillet. You, you, the skillet's real. <laughs> sorry, it's true. I'm uh, making, I thought we were making pancakes. With, <laughs> these with are the, the best chai tea milk with, pancakes I've ever had. Call, what do they call the things that are like this? The pan. Uh, no, pot. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you strain it after you've cooked it in the pot for 30 minutes. Okay. And then you have the best. Chai, because all the herbs like snap and pop and open up, and it's like all the little like black pepper and all the different stuff. Yeah, it's way better than Starbucks. It's a okay. true chai. It's a true chai. Yeah, You're it's a like true the, chai. Real, the real, the real way to make it. It can be. It depends on how much uh, honey or sugar you add to it. So we need to do that. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you the recipe. I'll give it to you in the way. Or agave nectar. Agave nectar is good because it doesn't spike nectar. the glucose. That's right. I like That's the right. agave nectar. We have agave nectar. Yeah, it's yeah. good for you. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm all right. What? Sorry. Delray. Anyway, gonna we're going to paint less cans and hopefully save children. Yeah, don't know about that. All right. <clears throat> this next story makes me a sad panda. Alec Baldwin is quitting acting. 667 people begged the story submitted by, oh boy. U.S. actor Alec Baldwin says he has lost interest in acting and is quitting. He told Playboy magazine that this year he was done with his career, and would retire at the 30 Rock rap party. Hmm. Wow. Quitting 30 Rock. Why did he say, well, did you give any reasons why? Well, yes, he did. He said that, <clears throat> well, basically, he just went, look, I'm 51. There's still time for me to do something else with my life. I'm just not really enjoying acting. And so it's like, well, if you're not enjoying acting, why the hell am I going to do it? He actually considers his whole movie career a failure. Well, what mm. he says in uh, um, hold on, he said, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Pretty much for him, blah blah blah. I consider my entire movie career a complete failure. The goal of movie making is to star in a film where your performance drives the film, and the film is either a soaring critical success or commercial success, and I've never had that. So they said that Baldwin's most, one of the Baldwin's most successful films was the 1990 action film Hunt for Red October, in which he starred. But he, he, he says, but that was successful not because I was in it. It was successful because it was a big Tom Clancy book. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of looked, and then he says now there's nothing he's done in the past. It, it, it kind of pisses me off, because there's like movies that you may like that Alec Baldwin are in, and you're like, this is a great movie. And Alec Baldwin's like, yeah, fuck that movie. And you're like, well, now I don't. I like Beetlejuice? I love Beetlejuice. Mm -hmm. But if he's like, yeah, he says that anytime any of his, he's like, I always avoid my, the movies I've been in, I never watch them, and. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you'd go back and watch your own movies, though. But now, wasn't this the guy who said if George W. Bush was elected, he was going to move, like, become, like, live in some island? Yeah, he said he'd move out of the States or whatever. Yeah. So maybe this is just PR. Ah, he's probably just crazy. Well, that's Does he for think sure. that he's a bad actor, or he's just not proud of what he's done? I think he just never had the success that he considers success in the movie career you know he was like 
none of the movies that he that the the reason why the movie was successful was because his performance as an actor. You know what I mean? I mean, there's lots of movies that are that you can think about that are like that. Sling Blade with Billy Bob Thornton. Like if it if if that if that wasn't such an amazing acting job, it would have just been a kind of movie that nobody ever heard of. Except I think John uh, uh, Jack Tripper was in it. Certain movies, though, like you, you just can't have bad acting in, like if it's written that well. Mm, like the Muppets that. Take Manhattan. <laughs> yeah, that's a good movie. I love Muppets Take Manhattan. I'm excited for Sherlock Holmes. It's gonna be interesting. Why do you say it like that? Well, I'm not a huge. I, I like. I'm a little tired of the Guy Ritchie stuff. Like I loved Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, and then Snatch was amazing, but it was just Lock, Stock, and Two, sh- two Smoking Barrels. I never saw. I don't. He didn't do Layer Cake, but then. Um, Layer Cake was good. He did a couple like movies that I was like, eh, you know. Yeah. So it, you know, if it's did he do Rock and Rolla? I don't know who did Rock and Rolla. I think I think he did Rock and Rolla. Um, but anyway, so so I'm just sort of like, eh, I'm not, I'm not, you know, yeah. 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 All right, let's move on to the next story. Yep. Shall we? This one's gonna be good. Good. Uh, Tiger Woods problem, and why not talk to the police? 1,029 people dug this story. It's going to buy Huron. Um, it says, your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent exists for a reason. Use it. So basically, this is really interesting because we all heard what happened with Tiger Woods. Well, we all heard something happened with Tiger right. Woods. Uh, he <clears throat> supposedly got in a car accident, and then there was all these rumors that he was cheating, and his wife was actually chasing him out of the house and beating on his car with a golf club. Yeah. He ran into a fire hydrant and tree, and then she had to free him from the car, blah, blah, blah. Well, this morning he did actually admit to cheating on his wife. Oh, he did? Yep. I did not see that. Yep. Oh. He admitted to... Out in less than a week. It'll, all of this will be out, but he admitted to, quote, unquote, transgressions. But with someone other mm. than the original like, accusee. I have no idea, but he admitted to transgressions. Hmm. So th- Which is code for, I banged some chick, and I don't want to say I banged some chick, so I'm going to call it transgressions. Interesting. It's like a vegan, it's like, a, it's like Glenn eating a hamburger. He's not, I, he's not flexing his morals, he's transgressing. I see, I see. It's a transgression. You, you, saw, uh, you saw all the whole craziness around this, though. Oh, fuck the, yeah. The, the thing about the school. <laughs> when this thing started, I was like, what? Tiger Woods did what with a helicopter? It was like all this crazy shit coming out. I was like, who, who was there? Why was Jesus in the car? I just, <laughs> I just love how he, he just didn't have to answer the police for a couple of days. Dude, that is not how it works when you're Joe Blow citizen. Oh, and you plow your car and the cops go, hey, we're here to talk. And their lawyer's like, eh, you know, give it a couple of days. Give it a couple of days. Oh. Oh, okay, we'll yeah, come back totally, in a couple days. Totally. You be know, like, no, he's you know, arrested. You know how they, they, they probably knock on them when they're like, oh, Tiger, oh, how, how's it going? Good, good. Yeah. Can you sign this for my yeah. son? Your face is all fucked yeah. up. <laughs> Can you tell us about that? Yeah. No? Oh, you want, us to, you want us to come back in a couple days? Can I still get that discount on those golf clubs? Yeah, cool. Yeah, all cool. right, all right, we'll be back. Oh, you want we'll me to have back. your golf clubs? <laughs> oh, we'll come back in six weeks. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll okay. get these golf clubs. I can take yeah, these with me. I can just take these with me? <laughs> your <laughs> golf clubs. You yeah. gotta be kidding me! No way! Oh, Fred, he's giving us his golf clubs. Tiger is so cool. <laughs> and that, and he's totally just, innocent. Well, you know they're like. <laughs> this is kind of like rich people neighborhood, obviously. <laughs> yeah. It's like the local cops. They're probably just like, well, ah, we'll come back. Fuck, being rich is better. It's just the I mean, clearly, line. you didn't have to answer to him for a few days. Like, who does that? I know. I think it's pretty pimp. I love how the fine for all this shit, for like him hitting the tree, was like $137 or something like that. They're like, on news reports, they're like, well, he will have to pay the $137 fine. It's like, what does, you might as well not even that's find like him. Breakfast. That's like breakfast. Yeah, that's not even <laughs> breakfast. That's it's lunch. Snacks before breakfast. Yeah, Croissants. that is breakfast snacks. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he feeds his servants. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just ridiculous. Amazing. Well, did you see the crazy, uh, actually, George, m- my agent, sent this over to me, the crazy Chinese machinima reenactment? Yes, I saw that. Amazing. They were like, well, we don't know what really happened. It's all in Chinese. And they were like, but we, j- we built this reenactment in a computer simulation, and it's literally like, like the, the woman Sims. Coming out, like the and she's Sims. coming out like all crazy. <laughs> and they have like a picture of her, like all fucked up crazy looking. And then in the, like, she goes and like bangs on the car and then pulls him out of the car. It's hysterical, dude. I just don't, uh, I mean, it's Tiger Woods. Yeah, what's the woods? You know, get out of the woods. Do you think, do you think uh, professional, like, sports stars, or th- yes. do they get a little bit more kind of, like, cushion when it comes to... Penis and stuff? Mm-hmm. 
I think so. I think I think it's what. Well, look at Kobe it's Bryant. It's kind of like a rock star. A, but a big ring. Yes. You look like, it's a, like rock a rock star. star. You know what you're getting when you marry. Now, now I will say he is a golfer. Right. I mean, let's call. You know, let's let's say what's up. He's a golfer. It's not like when you marry a professional <laughs> golfer. You, let's call, you think you're gonna say let's call I was, and then I thought baby. it was gonna be bad. I was like, I was like, it's is that a, bad. is that something bad? Oh uh, yeah, I think so. It like, can it can be construed bad. It's just sort of like a. What does it mean when you say let's call a spade a spade? What does that mean? Well, I, I think it's I seriously about have no idea. I think it's about playing cards. Right, that's but what I, I thought. Could, I've heard that you can take it in another bad is way. Bad? So I you're just about thought, to do it. I can tell. I was not gonna say it. So to call a diamond a diamond. Right. As I'm gonna now coin. That phrase. Trademark. Copyright. Alex Albright. 2009. He's a, go- he's a professional golfer. You don't get married to a professional golfer and think, this guy's going to be traveling around and so many people love him because he plays professional golf. So he's he clearly going to have to. Tech- well, but Tiger transcends. Yeah, Tiger's the, the first, first time. He's a billionaire of, of a, for an athlete, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. However, when you're marrying a rock star, when you, you know, when you marry somebody from Poison, when you marry a right. basketball player, like you know they're gonna be banging chicks at every single stop that they go to on work, for work. You just know for that. Work. No, there, there are very few Patrick Swayze's out there is what you're saying. Seriously, like he was married to one person, they were like devoted to each other the whole time, was ama- which is awesome. You like to think that. Well, maybe not, but I mean, ah, there's, there's, yeah, there's, but there's very To call few, a diamond a diamond, yeah, he was a famous actor. High profile <laughs> actors actor. and athletes. Will Smith. Will Smith, yeah, there's another good example. Good guy. Yeah. Miles Davis didn't bank chicks on the road. <laughs> How he knows that, we don't know. He only had sex because with Miles Davis. Because he, he, he practices semen retention, because if you, <laughs> <laughs> if you like, go me. bank chicks at night, no. then the next then day- Then you're not retaining you your semen. No, you don't have the energy to, to like, sing. fucking play golf and shit. Miles Davis. Because you're like all tired. tired. So that's a professional sports. Yeah. Clearly, Glenn doesn't have that issue. He's yeah. like, I banged a lot of chicks last night, and right now, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So he was pissed off and got in his car back up so fast. <clears throat> oh, I think she beat the crap out of him. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I in my she opinion, she show. beat the. You don't hit a fucking. You, excuse me, but you don't hit a, a, a tree. You don't back into a tree and then go to the hospital. So no, he didn't back in. He hit it head on. He yeah, but you don't do that. Street. And so it was basically ba- domestic violence from her to him. That's what I think. I think, because she then he broke, see- she then broke out the back window with his golf club to save him. How did she have the golf club on her? Right. She, she went, she was, cha- oh, she was hitting him with the golf club. The there is golf club. <laughs> yeah, but why house. would you bring a golf club out? With, like, you see no, a car no, no. accident, if even if you're Tiger a tennis Woods, player, you're not going to grab a golf club and be, or a tennis racket and be like, I got to go see if my, if my husband Tiger, needs help. If you're Tiger Woods, you have a golf club fucking everywhere, right? Yeah, dude, you're golf club, Tiger Woods. Golf clubs are fucking in every room. Clubs, I line my floor with clubs. You know, it'd be cool if you came over club floor and you're like, dude, club chairs uh, made out of clubs. (laughs) Totally. Dude, oh, those are my club chairs. They're made out of clubs. Pretty awesome. That's why I call them club chairs. They're also club chairs. But he seems to be like that docile kind of guy. Yeah, you think? Like he'd be like, ah. He's been banging, dude. He's been banging some chick. Yeah, you know. Transgressions. All right. Favorite kind of aggressions. All right. All right. Next story. Sad times for pirates. Arr. Mini Nova deletes all infringing torrents and goes quote unquote legal. 3,210 people dug the story submitted by Sync Text. Mini Nova, the largest torrent site on the internet, has removed all torrents except those that were uploaded through its content distribution service. Hmm. Mini Nova founders took the drastic decision after they lost a civil dispute, dispute against Dutch anti piracy outfit Brian. 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 Great. Salty water. Uh, And were ordered to remove all infringing torrents from the site. Now, I didn't know this, but Mini Nova was started right after Supernova left by a group of five Dutch students who went, well, we need to have a place that we can go to. Supernova's not existed. Let's just make something called Mini Nova just for us. And it kind of was like an experiment. Right. And then Then and it grew into this well, multi million dollar company that was making, you know, five hundred million dollars. But the here's the thing. That's when Pirate Bay took off though. So the attention was all on Pirate Bay at that time. Right. But here's the thing that I didn't realize. Mm-hmm. Mini Nova constantly took down pirated content. I didn't know that. Yes. And that's why they were like, hey, if somebody they were doing the whole YouTube thing. If somebody comes to us and says, our you know, if Universal goes, hey, You've got a movie up there. Here's the link. They take it down. Oh, they go, sorry, take it down. 
So they've constantly been doing that. Now, the thing is, they can't keep up with it. So it's sort of like, well, we take it down anytime you want us to, but we're not proactive about it. Mm -hmm. So then Brian took them to court and said, you have to be proactive. I see. But here's the thing. Brian lost. Oh. They lost the civil case. But they decided to go ahead and do it anyway? No. The judge said, you have six months to take down all infringing content that is currently on the site now. I'm giving you... Gotcha. I'm doing what, they're, what they should be doing. So this may just be a reboot. This right. may just be, we're doing that, they've cut everything out, clear it all off, and then open it all back up to people to put... to you know, forward their own torrents. Right. And then go back to when people request to go turn it in. You know what I mean? It wasn't like you need to cut these off and then keep on top of it. Right, because right. that's what they lost that, that right. I well, mean, the Brian lost that. It's really difficult to keep <clears throat> on top of tens of thousands of new torrents coming in. You know oh what God, I mean? yeah, are you kidding like, me? How can you possibly? But um, it's, you know, I mean, for there's actually another article I was gonna bring up or another dig story that's 10 alternatives to Mini Nova in the meantime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but. You know, it's it's interesting. Piracy has kind of gotten to this sort of blasé place, where it's like I don't even. Just seems like. I don't even know. There's much I even want care to pirate anymore. No, nah, no. Nah. What is it that you really want? I mean, we can get our movies and stuff like mostly streaming on on the internet or Netflix on my freaking <sighs> Xbox 360. Yeah. Oh, I invited you to movie mode the other night. You didn't enjoy me. When? Have you done movie mode on the Xbox? Yeah, where you play with a, like, you you're sit in down a with party. Friends? Yeah, yeah. I haven't done it yet. Is it good? I, I just tried it. It was inviting a bunch of people. Nobody came in. I, I saw you signed on and I sent you a little invite. What? Yeah, I sent you a little invite. I was watching uh, um, uh, South Park. How did I not see that? I don't know. You said you signed in. I would have been shocked if I had it's, seen you, that you your, were little, on. your little avatar kind of walks in, then you can sit down next to each other on Xbox and like watch the same show at the same time. And you time. can talk over the headset? While the movie's yeah, happening, you yeah. can do a little modal cons like ha ha ha, and a little guy like laughs, and it has like yeah. little hearts that come off. And, stuff. and you don't actually have to; only one person has to have a Netflix subscription. Right. So he can yeah. invite you, even though you don't have a Netflix subscription, and you can watch a movie. As long as you have Xbox show. 360. Wow. Yeah. Do you have Xbox 360? Negative. Mm. Uh, go for a lot. Anyway, Mini um, Nova tier, <laughs> heart tier, as it were. Okay. All right, let's get the sponsors before we do uh, our last story, shall we? Yes. Uh, so today we want to talk about Ford's new voice activated sync. It gives you hands-free voice communication of your mobile phones and media players so when you're in your car you can focus on what you're doing, unlike me when I shot video of myself uh, flying in my plane. Yes, we saw that. Which you I will put... You could have used uh, sync in your plane. Yeah, we'll put that at the end of the show or something. Uh, it's available exclusively on Ford, Lincoln, Mercury vehicles. That's why I was in a Cessna. Mm. Not available. Sync not available. They don't so. make a Ford Cessna then. They don't make a Ford Cessna. Okay. So what sync technology is, is it listens to your voice and allows you to make calls from your mobile phone, search and listen to music and podcasts on your MP3 player, turn-by-turn -turn navigation, real-time traffic and weather, all while keeping your eyes on the road. But even more than that, sync also includes 911 assist, automatically calls 911 when you're in an accident and the airbags deploy. Vehicle health report sends you an online status report of your vehicle diagnostics. Pimp. Mm -hmm. I would love to get emails from my thing. I was like, I need more oil. Shut up, car. <laughs> 411 Business Search gives you the U.S. business listings, 14 million of them, then provides turn-by-turn -turn directions to any of them, personalized news and sports, weather, personalized traffic reports, amazing. If you want to learn more about Sync, head over to SyncMyRidePodcast.com. Sweet. Sync. GoDaddy, get reliable, secure <clears throat> web hosting without any long-term contract. GoDaddy's hosting plans are bigger and better than other with 99% uptime, free 24-7 support, and no annual commitment. Plus, use the code DN7 for .biz domains for just $7.49 when you get your .biz name after you get it from GoDaddy. Go on over to my.biz and sign up for their contest where they're... You can win $25,000 in a trip for you and a friend to come to Austin to see us uh, for our next Live Dignation, which is next March. And as always, find every last GoDaddy offer at revision3.com slash GoDaddy. That's right. And thanks to Netflix for sponsoring this episode of Dignation with Netflix. You can rent over 90,000 titles online, including lots of Blu-ray titles with free shipping both ways to your home. Now, there's over 40 shipping centers, so you probably will get your DVD the next business day. Netflix plans start as low as $4.99. As a new member, you can get a no-risk two-week free trial. Just check it out at www.netflix.com slash dignation. Remember to type the www's when you're looking at that, checking out that code. Also, 
PS3, 360, computer streaming, very, very cool. Sweet. Amazing. Last La story. Last story oh, of the day. Oh, he does. Oh, oh. Glenn's, Glenn's little plug of the day. Interesting. He paid 10 grand for this. Yeah, hopefully you talk to Brad. Tell us what it is. Uh, <laughs> That's what I said earlier. Yeah. Uh, cookbook. Is nice. his girlfriend's cookbook is out. Cookbook. And it's quite meaty. But uh, no, but <laughs> shit. What a horrible way to. <laughs> I was going to say, but nothing about meat. <laughs> it's a vegetarian. It's, it's a vegan, a vegan cookbook, cookbook. And it's, it's quite meaty. <laughs> Nice, Glenn. What, I mean, what That's other what we cheese for like healthy? It's, it's a healthy. It's a thick. Tom, Tom esque. It's a girthy cookbook. Tom, Tom esque. <laughs> can we see it? So you yeah. don't, don't throw that. Oh, oh, this is mine, dude. Is this yours or mine? Oh, it's yours. Dude, don't. Can I have this? I was gonna circle your. Uh, no, this is mine. My my favorite favorites. recipes. Yeah. Lemon so, spice with okay. Indian spice. Let me let me do, nice. let me do say that. Let me do say this about this book. Thai One, lemon grass lies. I've eaten his girlfriend's food at their Hello. house when they have parties and stuff. It's. Freaking awesome! You I have not. You would never know it's vegan food. It's amazing. Borscht of sorts. You made, you made a URL for it so they can link to it. Bitly.com slash GF book. Yeah, GF book. For girlfriend book. Amazing. It's like bitly.com slash GF book and they'll take you right to Amazon to where you can check it out. Good holiday gift for the vegans or health conscious people in your uh, family. Yeah, it, the vegan word is bad. You vegan, know, a vegan's lot of a bad word. Get turned off by there's it, but healthy, there's good, good like, yeah, recipes. Grains and. Why does it have GF at the top of every recipe? Oh, because it, uh, depending on what you want to do, like what you want to focus on diet-wise, if you're trying to prevent certain things, then uh, you follow, you go to those recipes. Ah. Good for you. Is there a recipe in there for a dirt salad? There's one for autumn spice kabasha quash. Speaking of dirt salad, man, great restaurant in New York, <clears throat> Dirt Candy. Dirt candy, is it good? Yeah, it was really good, but I was pissed about the name. Because mm. it kind of infringes on your dirtsalad.com? Yeah, you that's should Glenn, That's Glenn's blog if you ever want to check him out, dirtsalad.com. Amazing. All right, Glenn's got two plugs. Next plug. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Uh, seven more plugs. Dignation coo cookies? <laughs> he said Dignation cookies. Wait, everybody, we got Microsoft Dignation cookies, cookies, cookies in some sort of store. Hoodies. It's hoodies. called Dirt Nap. Dignation hoodies. We have Dignation hoodies. Cool. Why don't we have Dignation yeah, hoodies? Yeah, really? I medium. Store. Does it say medium. on the back or on the, the where does it say? It, it on the, the chest? On the shoulder. Oh, really? Wow. No, it's on the front. <laughs> is there a little pocket for like just putting stuff on? Go. For weed is what you want to put in there. All right, here we go. Last story of the day. 590 digs submitted by D.L. Prager. Birth hey. control for men, question mark. No, I'm just kidding. What's submitted by Prager? Yeah. Uh, scientists have found uh, that, okay, I'll, I'll, let me read the actual official story rather than the dig title. No, no. So basically what they were, there's the discovery is for people that can't have children because they have low sperm counts. So they were trying okay. to figure out how can we increase sperm counts, right? right? And they accidentally they figured accidentally out how to decrease it? They accidentally figured out <clears throat> that androgens control sperm production, which could provide new insight for the development of new treatments for male infertility, infertility and perhaps new male contraceptives. So they're saying that a pill may be possible now, as it, was, it wasn't in the past, but they're saying a pill now may be possible with this discovery. So imagine five years from now it goes through FDA. Yeah. And you can take one pill a day, like yeah. birth control. And never have to worry about your swimmer's just gone. You gonna do it? Yeah, why wouldn't I do it? What? Well, you got weird fucking sperm control issues. No, dude. What about women that take birth control for a long time, and then they are like, oh, I want to get pregnant now, and it takes like... A long time before they can even start to try and get pet. What's like, there's a lot I'm of just gonna put a lot of camp. stuff in the freezer, you know, pre. Sure. That's a good call. A lot of people Dude. do that now. They freeze their sperm. Yeah, why not? I have just a buddy pop it of mine. I have a buddy of mine that freezes his. Oh, and then just you know get trimmed. Him. No, 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 let's not get too crazy. Fuck Nobody's nuts. getting trimmed, dude. Uh, that's backup plan. I don't if you trim. come off the pill and then you're like, oh, it didn't work, or oh, it's kind of hard. Well, I just you know. Have Maybe a little, if uh, you're slushy. with your wife and you've already had a couple of kids, and then yeah, you're that like, I get. I, I heard it doesn't hurt too bad to get trimmed, to get the little snip snip on the on the string. I wouldn't think it would hurt at all. No. You wouldn't what? think it was hurt. They cut your sack open, dude. And, and <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like. Oh, I thought that was out, out crazy. I thought they just took a little bit <laughs> out of your ear and. Procedure. Okay, let me just show you how the procedure works. Here's your sack. Get back. Cut. <laughs> Snip. Tie in a bow. Okay. It's like... Yeah, the good news is you, it comes with a free bow on your sack. <laughs> <laughs> so like, everybody looks more official. Like, you come home for Christmas, they're like, what'd you get me for Christmas? You're like... Zoo! 
little red bow there. Got a bow. You got your sack trimmed. I did. I did for you, baby. I did. Here are my nuts. They're earrings. <laughs> <laughs> I got them freeze dried. You can put them out. Oh, I'll think of you always. Oh, you can paint them. They'll go with your oh, outfit. Oh, little nice. smiley faces. Going at earrings. Oh, jeez. Love it. So hopefully, <laughs> they would you take a pill? I take a pill. You don't, they don't take your nuts out. No, that's called so castration. No, that's when they just cut the whole thing off. Yeah. I don't know if I would take a pill. What? What is the downside? Let me just put it to you that Well, way. she's already what? taking the pill, so I don't have to. Yeah, but what if, first off, that pill is only 97% effective. So there is, people do get pregnant on the pill. Now, I'll take a double <laughs> dose anytime. You had three children that way. No, he, he said yeah. there's 3% chance. We were just talking about this the other day. We yeah. Were, we, were, we were talking, having the uh, go or no go birth control thing. Yeah, yeah, guess what? So there you go. Let so now if you question. double up. Can I ask you an intimate question? Sure. Do you use condoms still? You've been, no. He's engaged. No. So you take the risk. What risk? The three, well condoms aren't 100% effective either. Well, I mean a lot more than birth control. Not by much at all, if yeah. not anything. So, but you could double up. You could birth control and condom. Yeah, but I mean, that's a little excessive. But I'll double so up. You take the risk. I mean, I get, it's not really, I mean, it's not really it's a small, risk. It's a small risk, I guess. Yeah. yeah it's always a small risk. You I mean, know, I think there's only one way not to have the risk, and you know, it's not in, a fun way. Uh, South America in Bolivia. It's going to be awesome. No, no, this is true. And it's no, good. I know. That's what's if you awesome. think you might have done, you know, something chancy, there are herbs that you can take that won't allow you to get pregnant. Well, yeah, that's the that morning after R46DX. I'm talking about herbs like plants and shit, like natural. Is it, you're you're assuming that the, are you, that the, the cookbook. you're assuming that the that, morning after pill isn't herbs. It may have been started as herbs. You're, you're probably right. Yeah. All right. So let's move on. Uh, when this comes out, we'll test it. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll, we'll give it a shot and, and then see if, what happens. You know, we both have children. I think it, you, it still allows <laughs> and you. And it doesn't it work. Doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't clog you up though. It's not like a blocker. You can still. No, I think it probably just sterilizes it the kids. Sterilize it, right? Yeah. That would just suck if you're backed up and you're like, fuck. That would be like, horrible. Can't you, <laughs> you're shooting blanks and you're just like, you That'd can't. Be horrible. What? <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, you guys, you are, guys high. are high. All right, <laughs> shall we get to an email before we leave? I believe you have yes. one. Yes. Uh, email for Dignation 232. Andrew Olson writes, uh, Kevin's tattoos. Huge fan of the watches episode one. When are we going to hear about the new tattoos Kevin got? Ooh. Inner bicep one is pretty bitchin'. So, you know what? Let's just put the video at the end of the episode, and you can actually see the day after. It's on Vimeo. It's, you can see. Uh, so we, Did you explain this one? Uh, this is just a Buddhist mantra. This is a little tiny tattoo. We're not going to zoom in on it. Yeah. Uh, this, this one, though, is uh, Shenong. He's the guy that discovered tea uh, 3,500 years ago. He was a Chinese emperor. And mm. so he's holding a, 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 like on a robe, and he's got his like, badass, the traditional like, Chinese kind of like, outfit with his big-ass beard. He also discovered like 3,500 different herbs. He was a big herbalist back then. Uh, he's kind of so the, hippie knows him. No, really, he's really well known in like the herb world. He's the founder of acupuncture, like a bunch of other shit. But he founded acupuncture. Yeah, a bunch of stuff. The like company. He's the Yellow Emperor. He's a uh, he's a really uh, well known guy. The uh, Yellow Emperor. <clears throat> but anyway, you can find more on Wikipedia or watch the video at the end, and I explain it. You can see the fresh tat. I just got it then. You can see what it looks like. Cool, epic. Well, and that. That's it. I was just gonna remind Prager. Prager, two two videos. We can talk about that after. Amazing! All <laughs> right, well, if you'd like to have your email around the show, please feel free to send it to fans at Dignation.com. That is it for this week's edition of Dignation. I'm Alex Albright. And I'm Kevin Rose. Until next time, acupuncture. Yellow Emperor. Really? Yellow Emperor? So Kevin, tell us what you got. 
So, I've been a big fan of tea for about uh, 10 years now, and um, the Chinese Emperor Shenong, who was known as the first person to ever discover tea, he lived about 4,500 years ago, um, I'm a big fan of him, obviously, and so I um, decided to get a tattoo of him. So, on the inside of my arm here, you're going to see a traditional Chinese drawing of Shenong, and uh, he's holding a cup of tea with uh, a little bit you can see the teas has a little bit of uh, a little bit of mist coming off the top and going off into the outside, and that's him in a robe right there. And uh, yeah, it was done by a guy here in San Francisco, uh, amazing tattooist, and the level of detail is just insane. If you get in on his beard and his face, how crazy that is.